Well, here we are with a new project. I'm going to be doing this bowl for a, a new customer of mine. His uh, son was tragically killed in a hit and run accident. And honoring his son, he got this bowl and he wants me to do this bowl as a carving to give back to the guy that he got the bowl from. So anyway, this a piece of madrone I found on the beach. It's got cracks in it and it's kind of gnarly. I'm looking, it's gonna make a good base. Got some really cool features that I'll end up with. Uh, the bowl is gonna be coming down to right about here uh, in the piece. And so it's gonna take up a, a good portion of this and this base will, will be a good, uh, it's gonna be a good base for it. So the project begins. I'll come to back and forth to this. It's going to be about a five or a six day, maybe even a seven day project. And so it's going to take me some time to do this. You're not going to be able to, I wouldn't, to set for seven days and watch a project, 10 hours a day. It's just ridiculous. So I come back and forth to these projects as I go into them. And I'll show you a daily progression and the parts of the hair and different things that I do to uh, create these beasties. So... Anyway, that's the beginning. Okay, you can see the bowl is starting to take a, a little bit of shape. What I've done is squared it off the back side. Now, what you're seeing here are drill holes. And they go all the way through. And drilling is a good way to get rid of material. This is going to be my base. So you're not going to get a saber saw or any other saw with this kind of a base because of the way it's shaped. This comes out too far. So you're not going to be able to get that into a saber saw or into a, into a, a reciprocating saw of any kind in order to get rid of this material. Some of this you could if you had a big enough bandsaw. I do not. I don't have a big bandsaw. I've got a little one. And, but drilling uh, can quickly remove an incredible amount of material. And so I'll come back and show you this process as it continues. Back again. Show you the picture of this bowl. There he is. Right there. And there is the Roughing it in. There's the neck coming around a little bit. You see the split of the legs beginning there. There's the back side. The privates hanging down. Part of them anyway. The tail, here's the tail back here. Where the tail is going to be. It's pretty lumpy right now, but we still have the uh, ball sack up in there that's got to hang down. Show you the top view of it here. There we go. Yeah. Okay, we'll be back on this one uh, uh, tomorrow and show you how far I've made it. Uh, the hair process begins now. <clears throat> Remember, this is all one piece of wood. I have started the hair process. You can see it on the butt and the tail. Each one of them little tiny marks is put in one at a time. Remember, back side of the legs started. And there we go. <clears throat> back again. Uh, this is how far I got since you uh, since the last photo. About the same amount on the back side of the animal. I concentrated on uh, uh, the other side and got all the way down underneath the belly halfway. Still have the hooves to go. Uh, they're going to come down clean to this. I'm not going to do grass. We're just going to sand this thing out smooth. 
let that grain show through. It's going to be beautiful when it's done. Got the back side done. And all the way around the legs and the tail, everything's done except for the hooves. I have the hooves yet to do. And the head. I'm saving that for tomorrow. Anyway, there we are. See how the uh, sheen of the animal changes as it goes around. That'll advance also uh, with the finish when you put the finish on. This little individual mark, so I'll show you how I've done that before. If you've seen my videos. Anyway, uh, should be done with this guy tomorrow. All right, here is the uh, bowl finished. A little change of light. Tail. Turned out good. Happy with it. A lot of sheen on that uh, fur. That's uh, Madrone. What Madrone looks like. Very dark. This is a chunk I got out of the ocean. It's uh, salt water hardened. One bull. Angus. Black Angus. And there it is. Have a good one. See you next time.